Kent Peters and Money Talk here back at you with another video. And I just need like 55 more subscribers in order to hit that 12 hour challenge for Uber Eats. So hopefully I'll, I'll hit that 600 subscribers within the next month. So I'm off the whole week of from my regular job on November the 14th. Because it's like my birthday month. So between November 13th to like November the 18th, I took the whole week off. So maybe if I have like 600 subscribers by then, maybe one of those days I'll try the 12 hour challenge. I may even do it earlier, we'll see. Of course, November 18th, I'm not working. I'm gonna celebrate my birthday. But anyway, y'all came to this channel and y'all probably wondering I'm th why I'm talking about being a trillionaire. I mean, I kind of talked about it in last year in, in another video. I was talking about different levels of riches. But now, I'm going to focus on being a trillionaire. How much is a trillion dollars, really? Let's put it this way. The first billionaire was this guy named Rockefeller. He made, he got his first billion. And this is like in a, either the late 1800s or the early 1900s when he became a billionaire. I don't know the date exactly. But what if somebody had a thousand times that much? That would be a trillionaire. So if you're if you did hit a trillion dollars, you would be the richest person in history. Of course, some people think that that king, what's his name? They're just king in like many years ago. It's been quite a few centuries. But there was King and Mali. They believe some people believe that he was worth a trillion dollars. But we don't know. It'll be, it's hard to see how much he actually had, but he's said to be like the richest person in history. And Mali's in Africa, in case you're wondering. But anyway, if he was a trillionaire today, what could you do with, with that? You would have influence in the cryptocurrency. So if he was able to buy like billions dollars worth in Shiba Inn, you're gonna cause that that price to shoot up. You're gonna influence it a lot. It is gonna just go up. You spent all your money on that. Not all your money, but I mean, if you did spend all your money on that, <laughs> of course it would shoot up, shoot up like crazy. And that'd be another strategy to make even more money. Because when you buy like a certain cryptocurrency like Shiba Inn, when that price shoot up, you know what you could do? You could sell like all of your sh of your coins. And then of course the price will shoot back down once you sell it all. And your money will be even bigger. So that would be a good strategy to make tr even more money. You could actually end up being a multi-trillionaire if you did something like this. I mean, it's possible. With a trillion dollars, you could possibly make your own country <laughs> with a trillion dollars. And there's like some abandoned island. You could buy that island. You could buy employees. <laughs> Probably buy like tons of like several houses, buildings to be made on that island. I mean, you will literally own the island. You'll be like what you call the president. <laughs> you had that much money. You would never have to worry about being broke. 
with a tri with trillions of dollars, you could buy a company. You could literally buy several companies. You could become their owner. <laughs> you could start making money from those companies. I mean, it's crazy what you could do with a trillion dollars. Of course, the downside of being a trillionaire, everybody want to be a friend. Everybody want to be your girlfriend, your boyfriend. They want to sleep with you. I mean, you're a guy looking at this like, yeah, I always want girls to chase after me and sleep with me. It's been my dream for girls to chase after me. I mean, it sounds kind of cool to just have a a girl walk up to you and ask you out. That sounds like that's like every guy's dream. But the downside, you don't know they're a gold digger or not. That is the downside. Just ask yourself this: If you didn't have any money, would this girl still be with you? <laughs> Probably not. Being a trillionaire, it, it will give you like so much assets to the world. You would definitely be able to buy your own private jet. And you can have people do jobs for you pretty much with that much money. I mean, there are things you do as a trillionaire that you just can't do as a billionaire. And so far, nobody's ever been a trillionaire. And just check my watch. Gotta got be like at Tower Plus by 9 o'clock. So it's now like 8.20 in the morning. So I figure I'll just do this video. Just knock this video out and just enjoy the rest of my day. Now, if I was a trillionaire, what would I do? Well, the real question is how did I acquire this trillionaire? Did I do it through hard work or was it a handout? Or did I win this? It's one thing we could consider. I mean, if I was suddenly to get a trillion, let's say the lottery actually did go past a trillion dollars. Don't say it will never happen because it might. It's going up to a billion. At some point, I believe that law will hit like 10 billion. Then maybe it'll hit 100 billion, then a trillion at some point. It'll probably be a while before it hit a trillion. But let's say it, it did go past a trillion dollars and I won. Well, I'll do the same thing if I won a billion dollars. If I was working at my job, I mean, first of all, I would just have to sit on it for a little while. It's something I need to think about because it's a big decision. So I'll, st I'll stay at my job for a little while. Just, just act normal. Of course, my car has to go. That thing has to go. It's old. So I would buy me a new car. And I'll just keep working at my job just for a little while. Just give me time to think what I'm going to do because this is a big decision. And I wouldn't tell anybody that I want either. Imagine people at my job will be wondering how I end up with a fancy car. <laughs> then of course I'll get myself a home. Then eventually I would tell people. Only people that matter. I wouldn't tell you guys on YouTube. Yeah, I'm, I'm, at, I'm at men. I would not tell people on YouTube that I want trillions of dollars. <laughs> that would be crazy. So if I ever became a trillionaire, you guys aren't, are not going to know it. So then eventually I would quit my job. And I'll likely open up my own company. <laughs> I probably would. I did talk about if I want to, if I was like a billionaire, I'll open up like some restaurant. I mean, I'll, I'll try it out. I mean, this thing Hooters, only with, what did I call it? Only the next level. Another comment I'd probably try to open up is maybe 
a copy that's that repairs game consoles. Cause there's no, cause when I think about, it, I have never seen any place that fits game consoles. I've seen places that fits TVs, VCRs. Well, not now, but back in the early 2000s, I seen people that repair VCRs. Places, not people. Seen places that repair computers. <laughs> yeah, my computer's in the shop. Because I live in Florida, so the power went out and it damn much like what you call that. The, the power. And it's just, I just got it fixed today, so I got to pick that one up. And there's places that repairs phones and tablets. But I, I have never seen a place that repair game consoles. So, that would be something I can get into. I'll just have to find people that's good at repairing that kind of stuff. I mean, just because I'm not good at it don't mean I can't hire people that are good at it. I just have to manage the company, pretty much. I would like we have like an assistant, <laughs> somebody that could help me out, like my right hand person. So if he want to call me, they had to call that person to get to me. And believe me, people, when they're when they're like their PS4 or PS5 break, they don't want to buy another one. They just want to have it fixed. And of course, I'm a trillionaire now. You know, I'm going to travel the world. It's going to happen. I'll, like, I'll probably buy some homes around the world, too. Obviously, I'm not going to go too crazy. I got, I'm going to hang on to some money. Buy, like, tons of stock. Because, yeah, like, buy, like, tons of dividend stock. To the point where I'm getting, like, so much money in dividends every single month. I mean, with a trillion dollars, I can do that. I can literally buy like a nut stock to where, like a nut stock, dividend stock to where I'm getting like hundreds of thousands or even millions of dollars every month in dividends if I had a trillion dollars and I bought a nut stock. So it could happen. So I'm going to make this video short. If you like this video, give me a thumb up, subscribe to my channel. And we are almost. At 600 subscribers, I just need 55 more. So share my video if you want to see me do that 12 hour challenge for Uber Eats. And if what, and feel, feel free to leave comments telling me what you would do if you won a trillion dollars. With that being said, have a good day. Bye for now.